A true story of two patients diagnosed with breast cancer, highlighting a powerful life lesson. The American writer and motivational speaker Dale Carnegie once said, It isn't what you have or who you are or where you are or what you are doing that makes you happy or unhappy. It is what you think about it. You see ye, many people grossly overlook the effect of that human tendency to put more focus on hardship and ill luck, negatively skewing interpretations of events, overseeing so many other possible good sides to many situations and reasons in life to be thankful or grateful. Try to grasp the lesson in this true story. A certain physician called the Marco Pera once cared for and treated two middle-aged female patients who had recently been diagnosed with early and middle-stage breast cancer respectively. Both cases were discovered after a screening examination. In simple terms, a screening examination is an examination done to catch a disease very early or to make adjustments before it could potentially become fatal or more debilitating. The first patient, call her Mrs. Paula was diagnosed with a tiny mass early stage grade 1 breast cancer. The second patient, call her Mrs. Cynthia had say middle stage grade 2 breast cancer, the cancer was also larger in size with faster proliferating cancer cells. Upon being aware of her diagnosis, the older patient won, Mrs. Paula, who had the very tiny early stage cancer became so anxious, worried and overwhelmed and considered herself so unfortunate, she kept hopelessly lamenting why her, on every hospital visit, having sleepless nights, dreadful of chemotherapy treatment, although it was not warranted in her case. She feared possible hair loss, nausea, and assumed a dire prognosis ahead despite much counsel and information to the contrary. She ended up with multiple episodes of cold and upper respiratory ailments, and much distress with friends and supporting family members before her planned surgery. Mrs. Cynthia Patient 2 on the other hand who had a somewhat more severe cancer reacted by saying something like how fortunate that her cancer was caught early before it could spread to other parts of her body, and how grateful she was to be living in a developed country where her health insurance would cover any possible chemotherapy and surgery expenses she might need. She was committed to seeking as much help and counsel from specialists, support groups, family and friends, and fight the disease step by step and living life to the maximum she could. Mind you, cancer, no matter which type, is a terrible, mentally scary and potentially life-changing diagnosis. It is something I would not wish to befall anyone, even a potential enemy. That people react to such a diagnosis differently is also okay, encouraged, and rightfully expected. However one thing is for sure, like so many other life's challenges, how one reacts to adversity clearly affects one's resilience and mental fortitude as illustrated in the above contrasting reactions. In fact, fear, perception and reaction dictate one's overall coping mechanism in dealing with an original problem or difficulty at hand as well as other potential resulting hardships ahead, and thus the overall residual contentment and satisfaction. Cancer might be real as in this true story, but it is also intended as a metaphor for those setbacks, shortcomings, difficulties, calamities, stress, and everyday challenges in life in general. Other simple everyday application of reframing and comforting adjustments could be the equivalence for example saying on a rainy day something like, it is so wet today however it's such an opportunity for farmers, these are the people who grow healthy food to feed the masses. Interestingly even negative emotions could be embraced with poise and grace. Guilt and blame could be viewed as an opportunity to be remorseful and a chance to practice and appreciate forgiveness and restraint. Sadness and sorrow might be viewed as a reminder not to take anything for granted. Mind you, the core lesson is not about welcoming misfortune or difficulties, but rather genuinely reframing incidents to view some good in those bad or challenging situations that are unavoidably going to be, or a part of that puzzle and adventurous melodrama called life. What do you think about the lesson shared in the story? Have you had a somewhat similar encounter before? Please share your thoughts and insights. 
let us know in the comment section below. By the way, if you or anyone you know is currently overwhelmed by a challenging or difficult situation, do not hesitate to seek expert or professional support. Also like and share this crucial lesson with friends and loved ones. Finally, if this is your first time to the channel, do not forget to subscribe for more inspirational and happy Simi's words of wisdom. Peace and love.